Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Think Safe channel. You know, if you're brand new to this channel, you heard from a friend, you know, my name is Art. I am the creator of the Art of Saying Money course, teaching you about psychology of money, you know, personal finance, that most easiest, most direct way. There's no fucking way around it. Okay, it's just direct. And everything I talk about is things that I do that help me save and that help me leverage out my life to do things like quit my job that I fucking did not really like, you know, um, and just focus on the real things that I want to do, which I'm doing now, you know? I come from immigrant parents. All they thought was go to college, you know, but I was lucky enough for them to let me, my mom, um, let me do whatever I wanted to do. She never got on my business and I'm happy. And that's the number one thing that I want to keep preaching, you know, do the things that you want to do. Okay, if you have a lucky, a lucky mother that just let you be, you know, like mine, good for you. Keep doing, keep following your intuition, but let's not get too carried away, guys. Today, I want to talk about fun, okay? Do you need to have fun? Can you have fun, Art, when you're saving money? The answer is easy. Yes, you can have fun. You can, right? It's your decision. But guys, I'm the preacher of the most ultimate way to save money the most ultimate way to get to wealth when you're starting from fucking zero from zero and i and i preach zero a lot because you know there's not a lot of people that talk about this you know everyone usually comes from family that that has a lot of money you know or has enough money to fund um their kids lifestyles you know what i'm saying or they or they get a head start you know, and, and guys, there's no, nothing better than starting from zero because the way up is a lot better. It tastes a lot better, you know, because you did it yourself. You figured out things that other people won't figure out in their lifetime or have never felt or experienced, you know? So it's okay to feel like, like you don't have it all. And that, and that's perfectly fine because once you're okay in here, you know, with yourself, with what you have, you move faster. You know what I'm saying? But having fun, guys, I don't, I don't think um, having fun is part of the equation when you're trying to get to wealth, especially when you're in debt. If you're in debt, you should not be having fun. Now, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to me. You can do whatever you want, but you're only delaying your process to becoming wealthy. You know what I'm saying? And you're creating bad habits. Bad habits are going to keep you broke for a long period of time. You know what I'm saying? And and if you have very persuasive friends that, that only wanna have fun all the time and you're fucking weak right here and don't know how to say no, financial fitness, saying no all the time, you're gonna go down and you're gonna stay broke. That's the truth. I'm not saying you have bad friends. They might be amazing friends, you know? But guys, it's time to be real with yourselves. Are you real with yourself? You know, that's the main question. So the answer is yes, you can have fun, but at the same time, no, I would not advise that. Just fucking quit going out. Stop trying to do things. Stop trying to figure out on your phone or a computer or, you know, where can I go have fun this weekend? What can I go do? Every cent counts. I was gonna say every dollar, but if you want me to be real ultimate about it, every cent counts, okay? Every cent counts. So you guys see this bad drawing that I did right here? of this guy with the light bulb, big ass head. Um, kind of reminds me of Megamind. I think that guy is Megamind. Um, it's a light bulb, guys. You know, once your light bulb goes up, you'll understand that saving money is the number one thing to creating wealth. And obviously, investing it, right? But investing is a whole nother topic. I just really want to get people on the perspective shift of you need to save your money and get the fuck out of debt. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter um, how much debt you have. Even if you have 2K in debt still, fuck fun. If you have $500 in debt, fuck fun. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. That's my ultimate my ultimate mindset. You know, of course, some people are like, okay, this food's exaggerating. 500 bucks in debt. Um, I can have fun. Yeah, you can. Good for you, but... If you want, if you really want to be real about this and, and, and be serious, you know, because if you can't handle, um, saving 
up to 10k then you're definitely not gonna be able to handle saving 100k if you were to make it um it's just it's just a psychology thing you know, you'll be fucking amazed and, and shocked, like holy fuck, what do I do with all this? You know, you have no you have no knowledge on experience on your scalability. I've talked about this too. You know, um, the experience of going through that journey or building 100k, you know, it's, it's just a whole different vibe. It's a whole different energy compared to if someone just gave it to you. So that's what I'm saying. If you start, you gotta start from your principles. If you're in debt, guys, pay that shit off. Pay it off ASAP. You don't want to let interest rates keep accumulating over time and then you're fucked with fucking, you know, like thousands, depending on what kind of loans you have or you took out of dollars that are just you're paying to the fucking bank. You know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Um, you know, guys, so just save, 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 save. My answer is no, don't have fun. You know, I'm not trying to be um, this person that's just gonna say, fucking hate your life. Like if you need fun to escape and get get away from, you know, your job or whatever, there's other ways, guys. If you have a desire to go do something, um, read a book, go exercise, trust me. If you exercise and do something like moving action that is actually doing something better for you at no cost, I go fucking run around my neighborhood, guys. I just run and I work out in here. I said, fuck a gym membership. Um, my, Cause my goals are my goals. I just don't care about getting big. I don't need a gym. You know, I can just do body weight, like, but I do it consistently. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the most important part. You know, you wanna be consistent with just shit like that, okay? But my point is, keep doing things. Keep doing things that are very minimal cost, that can cost zero dollars, guys. And think about your health. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, just don't spend money. Don't spend money. That's why I do the 20K challenge right here. 20K challenge. If you complete a 20K challenge and you save 20K, Fucking hashtag me and tag me, just King Arthur. I did it. I saved 20k. I built leverage. I built an emergency fund. I built fucking leverage six um, months worth of stuff, you know, um, to take care of my rent, food, all these important things. All these important things, guys. You know, if, if you wanna get out of your situation, if you wanna quit your job. Disclaimer, if you guys hear my kid in the background, I'm sorry. This is the grind. This is the hustle. Like, just got to film with what I got, with where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So this is raw. And But the point is, um, if you want to get out of your situation, you want to get out of your 9 to 5, you got to fucking work. After your 9 to 5, you got to fucking work. All the way to 2 a.m. And I ain't kidding around because that's what I did. I was just studying how to edit. How to, how to video, be a videographer, how to market businesses. You know what I'm saying? I went all fucking in. And it, and it comes back to mindset, psychology, you know? And it's all in line, you know, with saving money. Because while I was working on my, my nine to five, I was fucking saving and saving and saving and saving and saving and saving so I can fucking quit and go all in. Like, guys, what do you want to do in life, you know? It's real. When you see all these little fucking quotes out there on Instagram and whatever the fuck um, about motivation and all this shit. Guys, all these pieces of advice are not going to do you any good unless you do them. Okay? But you have to apply things that matter to you, that are congruent to you, that fit your energy, that fit your DNA, that fit the way you look at life. You know, so don't be afraid to execute on things. Don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to reject friends. Don't be afraid to be an asshole. That's how people see people that work on themselves as assholes, okay? That's how people are. It's it's the unfortunate truth. People don't want you to win. People don't want you to, you know, they don't wanna see you pro progress faster than they are. You know, and if you try to get them on the journey, if you tell them about this channel, if you tell them about the course, you know, you're a good friend. You know, you're those type of people that want other people to succeed. So, 
like I said, minimize your time with negativity, um, bad friends. It might not be bad friends, but if they're constantly doing things that are jeopardizing your finances, it's not good. It's not good energy for you and your pockets. Okay, so guys, no fun. If you're in debt, no fucking fun. Okay? You might be saying, who are you, the art? I'm the guy that has money saved, you know, got out of their fucking nine to five, doing their own thing, living my dream. That's who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? So guys, focus on you. Please like and subscribe this video. If you found value in this video, if you found an ounce, just a little hint of perspective, value, whatever it may be, please like and subscribe. Please tell your friends. Don't be selfish. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, keep up with these videos. I'll be dropping probably like one every week only because I got other shit to do. Like I said, I'm a, I actually, I didn't say it, but I do do social media marketing for small businesses. I edit videos for my friend Booty King. If you guys have ever heard about him on Instagram, I do his videos. Um, I also do shooting. I do shooting for small businesses. Besides marketing, I do their content creation. So I'm always doing something. And if I'm not, I am learning a new skill or I'm learning how to better my skills, you know, or how to be ahead of my market, like just things like that. And I want you to think the same way with what you want to do. Okay. But yeah, guys, thank you for listening, tuning in. And I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.